Hey guys, welcome back. This is part three of our Apache Web Server video series. And this is Salman Francis and you are watching LGH Project Server Edition. And in our third video, we will see how to password protect our website. So let's start. Uh, to password protect our website, we will go to same directory, etc, httpd, but this time in conf.d directory. Okay, over here, uh, we will create a simple configuration file. Let's call it auth underscore basic.conf. Okay, and we will add, uh, press enter and add some directives like directory, uh, which website we want to protect. Uh, let's uh, protect LZH1. So it's www.lzh1. Okay, then auth type is basic auth name can be anything but let's call them uh, basic auth and then what kind of a uh, file uh, we are going to keep for our users like where the users are going to be so it's auth user file is going to be an etc httpd conf and dot ht pass wd. This file will contain user information and their passwords. I'll show you just in a moment. And then this thing is important like what is required, it, a valid user is required to access this uh, directory so that's it and now we need to create a user a valid user uh, let me explain you uh, line by line this directive means that this directory or this uh, lzh1 we need to we want to protect this directory actually the authentication type is basic. This is the name of authentication. You can give it any name. Auth user file is the file name which is going to be uh, holding all the user data and the password. This dot means that it's, this file is going to be hidden. So that's why this uh, we always add a dot before this file uh, to make it for security purpose. Uh, so that normal users cannot view this file. Require valid user means that a valid user is required to access this directory. And which is the valid user? The valid user is going to be a user which we will create uh, with the help of htpasswd. And it's going to be in this uh, uh, file. So let's save, write, and quit and now we will issue the command ht passwd hyphen c to create a user and httpd conf and dot ht passwd so this file uh, doesn't exist at the moment let me show you to make sure here to list hidden files, we use ls-a option. And at the moment, we can see that we don't have any file. So let's run that command again. Okay. ht passwd hyphen c slash uh, etc httpd conf dot ht passwd. And then the username, let's call user Salmon. Press enter and it's asking for a password. Okay. And now if I ls, you can see I cannot see that 
file but with ls a switch i'll be able to see the file and that's it dot ht passwd and let's see the content of this dot ht passwd and it will show me the username and then the encrypted password okay let's go back now uh, our authentication is working i hope but let's restart our apache server so to restart it system ctl restart httpd dot service okay service okay and let's try to browse our website okay so let's go and browse our website and hopefully it will ask for the password so lzh1 was the website we protected and there we have it our authentication is working perfectly so let me add something which is not a valid username root and password is root no nope. root and nil password no uh, salmon without a password no so let me give it exact username and password and there we have it perfect so that's the end of the video we have uh, seen uh, virtual host we have seen password authentication we now know that how to make a simple web server from scratch in CentOS 7 and the same goes with other Linuxes uh, but you just need to make sure that syntax are different but the concept is the same the main idea behind the web server is the same so uh, let me know if you need more information you can always send me a message on facebook lzh project is our facebook page you can write comment on youtube you can send me email or learning at itpings.com or admin at itpings.com and i would be happy to reply to your queries and please do subscribe share with your friends and hope to see you in our next video which is going to be squid i guess the squid proxy server till then goodbye